Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your JSON files in order to do scalar or vector predictions in Physics AI. Now the first thing that we need to do is go to Edit, Register Report, and we need to make sure that we have this Physics AI export vector data that should be under this location. Once we have this, we just hit OK. and before we get started, a good way to know if your files are going to be compatible with HyperStudy is that you can open them in Hyperview or Hypergraph because we use the same readers. Now let's get started. We create a new study and point to the location of where we want to be working. We hit OK and we're going to add a new model and this is going to be existing data. Now we need to put a name in here and this name is going to be the same name for all the files uh, but that doesn't matter because later we are going to change that so you can just put a random name um, but that you know how to identify it and that it has uh, the requirements like for instance in this case this is going to be a h3d file so we put dot uh, h3d mm -hmm. We hit import variables and point to the location of our H3D files. And I'm going to select all of them and hit OK. Now we're going to go directly to test models. In this case, we are not really running anything. We are just moving the files from one location to another. And once we are here in define output responses, we go directly into data sources and we are going to add a new data source. This is going to be a read simulation. And our first H3D file should be in here. Now this H3D file is going to be my first H3D file, so this one. We select it. And let's say in this case, I want the pressure data. So I just hit OK. And then we are going to add a DOE. The definition is going to be from the setup. We hit OK. Now, in this case, we are not really running a, a DOE. Um, we are just going to create the files. Uh, so we need to make sure that the number of runs correspond to the number of files that we have. So in this case, if I go to my um, to my folder in here, I see that I have nine files, so it should correspond to the number of runs. We hit apply, next, and we evaluate. This is going to be very fast because we are just extracting the data. Now, once we are done with this, we are going to go to report. We are going to select the physics AI report, and we are going to click on create report. Now. If we go to Approaches, DOE, uh, we just select one of these, we should see the JSON file in here. Now, if we open this one, let me open it in Notepad++. So if I go to one location, let's open this one. And we are going to see that all of our vector data is in here. Now, as you can see, the label is ds underscore one. We can change that in here when we set this, um, the label and the var name. We can change this to something representative of what you are going to extract. Uh, but otherwise, you can leave it as it is. Now, another thing that you are going to realize is that all of the H3D files uh, have the same name. Although they are different, they are corresponding to each of your simulation files that you had on your folder. Uh, but we are going to change this with, um, with a script that we have. Uh, because another important thing is that when you go into Physics AI, the H3D files and the JSON files should have the same name. Okay, so... Uh, 
I'm going to show you how uh, we're going to modify this. Okay, so I have this Python script that we are going to share with you. And the first thing is that we need the location of the H3D files, the location of where you want to place the H3D along with the JSON files and your DOE location. So it should be like this one where your run uh, folders are located. And then in this case, I have um, my H3D files in here and this is where I want to place my um, my JSON and my H3D files. So I just I'm just going to run this. And as you can see, now they have the same name, um, the, the JSON and the H3D files, and the H3D files correspond to my original H3D uh, files. Thank you.